Welcome back. Dr. Drew Curtis is here from Angelo State University. You're an associate professor of psychology yes. and also the program director of the new doctoral program. Sounds like you're busy. <laughs> I'm busy. It's a lot of fun. Thank you Tell, for having me. You're nice to see you. Tell us first of all just about the program. You've already started it, how many students you have and what it is. So we have a doctoral program in counseling psychology. It's a PsyD at ASU. And we have our first year of students who began this year, six of them. And, uh, and we're looking to welcome our next year student, next year cohort coming this fall. What do students with doctorates in this degree do? A lot of them are becoming licensed psychologists and then work in a variety of settings, maybe uh, at military bases, hospitals, sometimes private practice, but there's a high need nationally, but even more specifically in West Texas. We hear a lot about mental uh, conditions, mental issues these days and I'm guessing that's right this is right in the middle of it that's right and so high need and we're hoping that this program not only trains our students but will give back some of those people will stay in the community and serve the community I'm interested to hear about your research you are well known around the country for your research on deception you've been speaking around the country tell us about what all you've learned with that uh, area of study done a lot of work on deception specifically with pathological lying and um, looking at a clinical condition where people might tell an excessive amount of lies. And, and so my work's really looking to get, get it recognized in the, the DSM, which is the book we use for di making diagnoses. Tell us about the oxygen uh, program that you did, a whole series on, on, on exactly this. That's right. So some of my work has led to uh, a recent uh, docu-series, true, true crime series, uh, looking at serial killers, Ted Bundy, um, high-fire murders and, and really trying to get some insight into why people lie and, and commit the crimes they do. Just on the surface of it, what are some of the reasons and how do they, how do they work that out within themselves? As far as serial killers or people well, no, no, well, 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 just about, <laughs> let's talk about lying in general. Uh, li lying serves a variety of motivations, but you know the good news is most people are honest most of the time. Uh, but but sometimes people might lie for a variety of reasons or motivations. Uh, for pathological liars, they tend to lie much more than than the typical. What are the person. base reasons for that? The base causes of that? It may be to get something you want. Uh, impression management. You want to show show a certain way. Uh, you're after something. Maybe you're avoiding some consequences that are negative. Th those are some of the general reasons. How do we as a society work to lessen that kind of an environment for people who, who may feel like they need to, to act that way? Well, that's my hope. You know, the recent uh, book I published with APA has indicated some treatments and recommendations, how you can help people uh, by reinforcing honesty and helping people uh, seek out therapy and, and really get them on a path to, to overcome where their lives are problematic for them. Very interested. If yeah. somebody is interested in, in applying to be in the doctoral program, what do they need to do? We have our application materials on our website, Angelo State uh, University website, specifically our counseling psychology program, uh, a lot of list of application materials, or welcome to email or call me at ASU. It's interesting, very yeah. interesting topic. Thank you so much for telling us about it. Appreciate it. Thank you for having me. Dr. Drew Curtis with Angelo State University. We're going to take